And so uh, the big payoff is Fonzie goes to unfold the big World Wrestling Federation flag, and he opens it, and it's blurred. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that. So this goes on for a while. They're all beating up Tommy, and Sabu's out there doing stuff now, and Beulah gets in the ring, and Sabu decks Beulah, and then the Sandman's music hits to, I, 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 I suggest, make the save. Although it's too late, all his friends are dead. Well, they were dead because it took him 15 minutes to get to the fucking ring. Well. You could have killed and resurrected all of them well, by the time he fucking got then there. Then things got even worse, Brian. He got to the ring. Bro, this Sabu <laughs> Sandman match. God bless both of them in the sense that they no. killed each other for the entertainment of the fans. But that's literally the only good thing, good thing that I can say about it. This match was a fucking one of the worst matches I ever saw in my life. The crowd is dead. Like if you watch this match and then you watch that four-way tag team elimination match, it's inconceivable they're in the same building. They don't give a fuck about any of this, mostly because it's fucking horrible. Sandman was injured. I'm sure Sabu is probably hurting all over as well. And that was kind of like the excuse at the time. You know, well, they're both hurt. Bro, no. No. They fucked up every fucking spot. Like, they fucked up spots that, like, you can't fuck up. Right. Everything in this match was an atrocity. Every move they... Like, Sandman was doing shit where, like... I'm going to put a ladder on the other side of the barricade, and I'm going to do a, a pescado over the top rope and hit it, and it'll catapult into Rob. And it's like, it sounds stupid on paper, and it fucking got botched and looked stupid, and that was one of the better-looking things in this match. Horrible. Well, the good thing is that they kept throwing yes. the ladders on each other as hard as they possibly could, bouncing off the back of the Sandman's skull. Again and again and again. Yeah. There was there was no care no. for anybody no. in this match. No. They they did not give a crap about their opponents. So Sandman comes out and he's clearly just beyond hammered. And I know you're all thinking, Vinny, it's the same man. He's always drunk for his matches, and I'm telling you, no, you don't understand. Not Dude, like this. this was a different level of like he would. They tried to throw him into the buckle; he couldn't even get there. No, he cannot run the corner. Corner ropes, ever corner ropes, but yes. Yeah, running the ropes requires a fair degree of 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 practice and talent, and running into the corner does as well. But even if you suck, like you can run and bonk into the corner. <laughs> Not the Sandman. No, the goal was to get from the middle of the ring to the corner. He didn't make it. So as noted, they uh, they did try really hard, and the vast majority of it was awful. There was some stuff like when Sabu's down on the ground on the floor outside the ring, or yeah, Sabu is down outside the ring, and the same man decides I'm going to take a ladder in one hand, I'm going to run across the ring, I'm going to throw my body over the top rope. And then in midair, I'm going to do a one-handed ladder throw onto Sabu, and then however I land is however I land. If you can't laugh at that, we're not going to be friends. <laughs> I did laugh a lot during this match. Yeah, because it was fucking horrible. This match was not boring. It was an all-time horrible match. It's very, very awful. There's that one. There's the, the seesaw thing you described. There's the part where Sandman literally cannot run. They go to do a spot where, uh, uh, like, Sabu is on the top rope, and Sandman is standing in the ring in front of him, and there's a ladder leaning against the ropes, and Sabu is going to jump and hit the up end of the ladder so it teeter-totters, and the front of it comes flying up into Sandman's face. That's the plan. What actually happens is... The plan. That was the plan. He jumps, and like Sandman beats him to the ladder and is laying on it. <laughs> so by the time Sabu hits it, it doesn't go down at all. And it's rolling around. The crowd was into this just for the extreme violence of it for a while. And then after like the 14th fuck up, like, dude, fuck this. They're booing. There's a fireball that's missed so uh, bad. Sandman no sells it. Actually, the funny thing is it didn't miss that bad. 
like he, uh, Sabu's in the corner. Sandman's on his feet. Sabu throws a fireball. It looked like it did Sandman right in the fucking forehead. Sandman recoils, and then all of a sudden he's like, ah, it must not have gotten me, and he starts beating up on the guy. And I was like, what a waste of a fucking fireball that was. And that was far from the biggest problem. No, not even close. So they also had ring crew geeks just constantly setting up tables at ringside, so the guys never had to get them themselves. And very early on, Sandman lays Sabu on a table, and the table just breaks under his weight in a very fine, perfectly neat line. It was perfect because he like laid him on the table, he punched him in the head, and as soon as the punch landed, the table broke. Yes. There's other tables that were uh, bending under their weight. None of this looked good. And then, like very early, they, they had a table they were trying to set up, but the legs broke. Like the legs broke off of the table, so you can't you couldn't do anything with it. And so Sandman just picks up the table, runs away a little bit, and then runs backwards and throws it back over his shoulder at him. Yeah, Laugh my ass off. Joey said he suplexed the table into Sabu. <laughs> Maybe the idea. That's not what it looked like. No. So eventually Sabu wins with, as Joey called it. An atomic Arabian face buster with the ladder. Sabu wins. Now, I agree. The match was horrible. This is a severe negative star match. But on the scale of negative star matches, I had more fun watching it than any other match this bad. I could not give this the full negative five stars. No. But I I think that it would be I would be remiss if I did not give it at least negative three. That sounds fair. It was very, very, very fucking bad. It did have a clean finish. <laughs> a clean so finish. there is that. They tried. They they did try. It was but it was so bad I I mean that actually almost makes it worse. <laughs> so I thought that this was the infamous stairway to hell match so i looked it up they brought this match back for house party 98 Mm. and put sandman and sabu in the main event with the stairway to hell match that went 17 minutes and 48 seconds this probably went that long this went 20 minutes and 55 seconds yeah yeah, and uh, and maybe fifty five of those seconds charitably. I used to always get so mad when Tim would come out with that fucking stick, but uh. now I'm like, Jesus Christ, that guy knew what he was doing. Where the fuck was Paul to send out like Furnace and Lafon with those fucking sticks? There's a highlight reel afterwards. I there it, is of what? <laughs> I skipped it. Listen, I would much rather watch the the the, the craziest stuff in that match in a thirty second package than watch. The well, I mean that's again. true. Yeah. But they had 30 seconds of highlights? <laughs> Apparently. I also skipped it. I was aware of what was going on, but I didn't watch that closely. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker, leg subhold on. I got a P. P gets leg. <laughs> <laughs> this was 10 and 8, 21. Clothesline. <laughs> Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? It? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.